Okay, it's fine. So, one thing they're going to try and do, God, after they get their proxy up, they're going to, oh no, they're going to try and um, get a pylon up on your high ground. Now, the reason why they're doing this is um, because they want to have sight of your high ground when they have stalkers. It makes it way easier for them to do it. A lot oh, of times... Hold on, someone's knocking on my door. Okay. No problem. Okay. Now everything's catching up. Okay. Um, the reason why is so they can shoot you from the high ground. Now, recently, twice actually, I've made the mistake of thinking it was just Proxy 2 Gate and not Cybernix Core. So I just mass zealots. And I won both games. And how I won both games is they did not put the pylon on the high ground. Now, I'm not saying I would have been 100% dead if they put the pile on the high ground, but it would have been way fucking harder. Now, what happened was, I was like, fuck, shit, fuck, put everything, like, don't mind gas, put everything to minerals, you know, don't get supply block and make zealots. So I was actually even with zealots with him and kind of beating him in zealots, because zealots build slightly faster than stalkers, do they? I think they do. Maybe they don't. But whatever. Um, if they do, it's just a few seconds. Um, I, I know sentries are the ones that build the quickest of the three. But anyway, um... So I was beating him. Then I saw I got socks out, and I was like, fuck. So I threw it on the Cybernix Core, threw it on the, the gas guys, or maybe I already had one, and I threw people in it um, as soon as possible, because I need stalkers. But you're not 100% dead, because what you do is you position your zealots on the high ground. Oh, wait, I explained this to you, didn't I? Maybe. No, I explained it to somebody else. Or maybe I explained it no. to you, but then my shit died. My, my StarCraft. Anyway. What did I explain? I'm confused now. Okay, okay. And Don't worry about again. it. Just just keep listening to what I'm saying. Um, okay. Erase the last 20 seconds. <clears throat> I keep the zealots on the high ground, right? I'm outnumbering him because he had to stop to make stalkers and whatever. And I was just going oh shit mode making all these zealots so I like, naturally have a slight advantage because he's like, you know, mining gas, building more expensive units, etc. Um, building Simon X core. I never built Simon X core, you know, because I fucked up. Um, <clears throat> what you do is you position them on the high ground all right, this is going to be... Let's zoom in even more. Um, you position them on the high ground. And um, when he moves up, you move down. So he's got some big boy burgundy-looking stalkers. It's going to be really weird and sketch and hard to see. I'll do light blue. That would be easier to see. Okay. That was off. That was a little bit better. Okay. Um, I'm going to play music for 10 seconds. Okay, I assume it's catching up. I'm throwing stuff on the ramp. Right now, it's zoomed in on the ramp with the pylon. Okay, now you're... Alright, that's fine. So, so, you position your three zealots. Um, let's, well, you probably have four or five, and they'll probably have one or two zealots and two stalkers. Okay. The blue line that I'm about to draw already did is the sight vision. <laughs> That's where they need to move to see your zealots, assuming they don't have the pylon. Um, because if they have the pylon, then whatever, they're going to always see you. So, the moment they start moving up, you start moving down, and you reach each other at the same time. They get two shots off, and you get three zealot hits off. Or, or even two Zealot hits off. Zealots do more damage than Stalkers. Stalkers do 10 straight up damage, Zealots do 16. So it will be better trades for you every single time um, if you do it perfectly. Now, you're not going to do it perfectly, whatever, but once you get Stalkers out, you have ranged units and you have high ground vision. So every time they're going to try and come close, you're going to get a free shot off. Then by the time they get a shot off, you get your second shot. You know what I'm saying? So you just make it to Stalkers and then the micro gets much easier. But at this point, you can still defend. You can still defend just from the knowledge of this, where they need to move to get sight of your units. You know, they'll be walking straight into your units because they won't have sight. They'll see they have sight, but, but, you know, if they just walk back, then you'll hit them and they won't hit you at all. So they shoot you once and then walk back. Like, it's a good trade for you. You just keep doing it by time until you have enough gas, until your Cybernetic Core finishes, until you have Stalkers. I mean, still make Zealots until your Cybernetic Core finishes, but, you know, 
That's what you have to do. Now, if they do put the pylon up, you have to be a little bit further back. You have to, um, and you're going to take more damage than you're going to do to them. It's just how it's going to work. But you probably will still have zealots up, <clears throat> and you probably will still be able to defend until, until you have stalkers, and then it'll be a little bit easier from there. Once again, they'll have the pylon, they'll have the high ground vision, but um, your stalkers will automatically get shots off, you know, when they get in range, so it'll be like even trades. Um, remember, this is just in the scenario that you went two gates, only zealots, and they went two gates, same next score. Either because you misread it, or you didn't see the Simon X core, or, or you just wanted to do this, or whatever. But it is defendable, and this is how you defend. It's kind of hard micro, maybe, I don't know. I guess I did do it on the first time without practicing it in one, and then did it again, so maybe it's not that hard, but I don't know. I don't want to say it's easy, and then you, you, you go in and do it, and it's hard. Um, because it wasn't easy when I did it, you know. But anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so that's that. But, um, if you did go Cyber X Core, because you knew he was going Cyber X Core, and you did go Gas, you should be basically have every, you should have everything he has, a lot like the Gateway situation, you should have everything he has just a little bit later. Your first two Zealots should be a little bit later than his first two. Your first two Stalkers should be a little bit later than his. The only advantage you have is, like, um, high ground vision, if he didn't put the pylon up, and... Um, more workers because he had to put the proxy up so he had to send the worker out early which cut his production which slowed down his workers etc etc um yeah but definitely just micro make him lose more than you lose and then you're gonna win um i mean that sounds simple and straightforward but yeah that's what you got to do uh any questions on, on any of these proxies or this one specifically or anything no no do we want to run through this real quick again? Like everything? Do you want me to? I want you to learn the best way possible. And if you think going through it would help. Like you can always ask me later. You know, shoot me a question on Facebook or, or on Skype or something. And um, I can write this down for you and send it to you or something. Um, that might be the most legitimate way. But I'm like pretty lazy. But still that might be the most legitimate way. Um, but yeah. Just uh, let me I know what you want. Recite it. Like everything. That makes you feel like more comfortable. Well, like with the proxies. No, no. I mean, you you did the you did the 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 four the canon one, and that was pretty that was pretty in depth. Um, I I know my memory is shitty, so so, but I guess yours isn't. Um. Oh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Just concentrate really hard. I'll just run through in like 30 seconds. Also, my throat hurts, so I'm like about to stop talking and finish this. Also, I don't have anyone to set up to do practice games with you. I could do practice games with you, but my throat hurts, and I'm probably about to eat dinner, and then I'll probably just ladder after that. So if you want to do practice games some other time, or if you want to like a refresher on PvP next week, or, or whenever we do this next, instead of going straight into PvZ, you know, that's totally fine. Um, mm -hmm. I'm totally fine with that. That's just one more session. Did I tell you that I plan like five sessions total and then I'm not sure what to do from there? I think you did the first time, yes. Yeah, because... Uh, like cause... one session of going through each matchup and then mm -hmm. two of reviewing everything. Yep, yep. Reviewing everything, um, like a general coaching session to uh, make sure you got everything down and then more of a... Um, more of a... Like if you were me and I was watching me. You know, just like telling you your little mistakes here and your little mistakes there and, like, work on this, you know? Just follow-up mm -hmm. sessions that, like, <clears throat> everyone needs every once in a while. Yeah. So, okay. Proxy Void Ray all-in. You know, it's very all-in. With your first scout, you see they 10-gated or 11-gated or something really early, and they did double gas. Um, um, oh, oh, I never even talked about 4-gate. Well, I assume you know 4-Gate from Wings of Liberty. And there's a weird version of 4-Gate where they 10-Gate, where they just get it out way faster. That may even be a 3-Gate because their economy is so bad. But they get it out so fast because they get their gateway on 10 and their 7 next go right after. But that's just, I mean, you don't have to defend that because that's a 4-Gate. Same mentality. Um, so I won't talk about that. Is that fine? Yes, that's fine. Okay. So Proxy Void are all in. Okay, I just said it. Um, low probe count. They made a gateway on 10 and whatever. Proxy Oracle. Um... Fast double gas on 15, um, no third pylon, um, unless they're doing like a delayed like gateway timing plus a proxy oracle. 
Um, DT Rush or DT Expo, they have one to two gates, most likely one. Um, the Quick Gas, the two on 15. Um, they'll put up, and, and the biggest things, they'll put up a pylon sneakily, like they won't have stalkers out. <clears throat> Unless it's a delayed blink, some weird ass three gate pressure transition to blink, then they won't have units with their probe setting a pylon. Just be a probe trying to be sneaky. A blink will be one to two gates, quick gas, two gas on 15. <clears throat> Whenever they move out and set up their pylon, it'll be all stalkers, most likely multiple stalkers. Um, also, like I said before, good to keep a probe on their side of the map. And that, that goes for almost all of these, but good to keep a probe on their side of the map, just to double check. Um, expansion, they'll probably have one to two gates when you first scout. Um, <clears throat> they likely won't have two quick gas. Almost never will they have two gas on 15. If they do, they'll probably have two people in each gas. Um, they might do a three stalk stalker pressure and then expand <clears throat> behind it. The thing to look for is no probe and no pylon. In base Stargate, um, like I said, this is kind of hard to tell. It looks a lot like a DT because you just scout it's one or two star or one or two gateways, most likely one. Um, quick two seven eight score both on 15 supply, and um, you can. They probably will have low gateway count, so like I said, you can poke with your stalker and your mothership core, but <clears throat> um, that's not a guarantee. And they could be doing something else, and you could like suicide your mothership core. So it's like you gotta be very careful and like practice with it a little bit more before you start doing that. Um, and then the three proxies that we just went over, uh, Cannon Rush, 2-Gate Only Zealots, 2-Gate 7 x four, and I don't think I need to go over them, so I just went over them. Yo yeah, boy! That's Protoss. A and you said Zerg is your worst matchup, right? It hots it is. That's gonna be easy, dude, Zerg's a nub. Um, Zerg's, I eat them. <laughs> They're so easy. No, no, um, no one's easy, but, yeah. Um, <clears throat> PvP. Um, what? So I talked to you about what builds you did before. Um, I'm basically done. I'm just talking about. I don't even know what right now. But um, are you like, what builds do you have practice with doing? Is what I want to know, basically. For PvP. Yes, sir. Um. Like I said earlier, the Oracle into DT. Um, <laughs> so is that like a Robo? <laughs> is that expand like expand and a Stargate expand? Stargate expand. Do you get three gates or two gates or one? Um, it goes. Let's see, uh, I think. I want to say. I don't. I have to look at the build. I don't like. I know it off of memory by playing it, but I couldn't tell you hmm. without doing it. If that makes sense. Hmm. Okay. Um, like it. Okay. Do you? Yeah. What do you get with it? What target units? Basically, um, you just get quick five stall or quick three stalkers at first, but then you keep going up to five and you start poking, trying to see what they have. Mhm. Mm you get basically two gate stargate then expand. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you start the Stargate, then expand. Oh, okay. But but what do you get out of it? Like, what's your composition? Why do you get a Stargate at that point? Um, Oracles or Phoenixes, depends on what you scout on. And from there, I'm, I'm really bad at transitioning out of, like, the, your initial composition. So you're talking about harassing while expanding? Yes. So not a Stargate composition as your main army? It could be. Well, when I ask, like, what's your composition, I mean, like, your standing army. Um, oh, what I normally do is heavy void rays with okay. either a lot of stalkers or a lot of zealots. So I on whether they're pressuring me. I really, I really don't see void rays anymore. Um, people, um, what is it? In the beta, it was all stalkers and void rays. It was all blink with stalkers and void rays, and you would just be blinking up the high grounds, killing shit, fucking overcharging, and just just murdering shit. But the reason why that fell out of fancy is um, Archons are really good, and with Time Warp, Charizard Archon is really fucking good. Like, Immortal Charizard Archon like, can beat Colossus armies, even. And there's no way, okay, not no way, but it's really freaking hard to hold a Charizard Archon all in when they're on two base and you're on two base, or especially if you're trying to take a third. So... 
the mass void of the composition you don't really do anymore. You do it as something sneaky to throw them off, or maybe as a transition after you were going.